All right, hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Grounded. This is our day two of our uh, beginner guide here. So it is just after 6:30 in the morning. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, head over to the field station. Actually, I want to kill this weevil because one of the things we're gonna want today is uh, better armor and uh, better weapons and defense. So we need a couple weevils. Actually, I think we need four total. And if you see how many are coming around right now, that is because of our mushroom that we placed on top of the uh, mysterious machine there. Quick little buggers. So there's three and we got one more right here. So something super useful to do right off the bat. All right, we need to get rid of something. So you can just right click, you can either drop it uh, or uh, trash it. Easiest thing is probably just to trash it if you're not gonna count on picking it back up. Let's see. For some reason, your shield is gonna be over here in your tools. Thought so. Thought we unlocked the weevil shield already, maybe not. All right, so we're going over to the field station to analyze something anyway, so we can analyze the weevil meat and that should uh, allow us to get the blueprint for the Weevil Shield. There we go. Now we got it. Brain power, we're almost level 2. So, analyze the Weevil Nose. That's going to give us access to the Gas Mask, which we're going to need uh, later on. And then, uh, let's see. Where do you have arrows? Doesn't really matter what we analyze right here. Out of what we have, so... The important thing now is that we do have the uh, recipe for the weevil shield. So we need two grub hides, which again, we don't have, but we do have four raw weevil meats. And this is going to take a workbench, so we'll need to go get our uh, grub hides. So one of the other things I wanted to do real quick uh, before we get started here, I touched on it a little bit, was the trail markers. These are super useful uh, early on in the game because you're not going to know where to go uh, and how to get back to your base. So it's going to show you the mysterious machine if you bring up your map obviously right here so if you plant if you make a base right next to the mysterious machine you'll know exactly where to go yeah. but if you want a waypoint while you're running around we can go ahead and uh, plant this guy right here build it up you can go ahead and set a custom marker to hit E you can choose a color and you can choose a uh, I guess an image for identification like it says right here so we'll just go ahead and blue blue house so now the farther we are away, we'll still be able to see that uh, wherever we are. So we don't have any food on us. One of the other things I wanted to get into was I don't know if we have access to it yet. We don't. So I was going to look at the, uh, the storage. So that's one thing we need to do. We need to analyze these uh, clover leaves. So let's head back to the field station. See if we can do that because once you're, like I said, when uh, you're gathering all these resources, you're going to be carrying them all on your person. Um, so it's helpful to start at least having a little bit of storage so you can place everything in there. That way when you're going out, you'll have room for uh, for newer resources, which we're definitely going to need for day two here. Analyze that. So there we go. Storage basket is uh, the one we're looking for there. And we are 10 away from level two, which will also unlock more uh, more recipes for us. Any ones that we don't have will be uh, available to us. So we're going to head back over here to our little, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, our little rock outpost. Because we are full of stuff. You can see there's weevils all over the place now. There's one there, one there. And that is strictly because we just put that little mushroom on that area. So they're not going to be able to get to that mushroom. But what it's going to do is just make weevils come over here. So you'll basically have an uh, infinite amount of food. And anytime you need to repair your weevil shield or anything like that, you'll be able to do that. So let's go ahead and make some storage baskets. Now that we have these, we can make one. One's better than none. Again, these, it doesn't really matter where you place them. But we'll try to get one there. And I want to make one more. So let's go ahead and get some more... Uh, some more clovers. We'll need some plant fiber for uh, crude rope as well. We'll go ahead and gather these up. Not the most exciting stuff to watch, but uh, 
Just trying to get you guys an idea of um, what you can do in the first couple days just to set you up for success again. So we can do that. We had enough uh, already. So we need to drop some stuff, unfortunately. Or eat some stuff. Um, we'll just go ahead and hungry. eat this mushroom right here. And these, uh, your storage as well, you can uh, customize the icons for these too. So typically what I do, I'll have some for insect parts, I'll have some for grass parts, I'll have some for weapons, I'll have some for armor, and stuff like that. It just makes it a lot easier to uh, figure out where your stuff is. So we'll go green there. So all of our green stuff for now, we'll try to uh, organize that. And I have one for my fuzz, um, your silk ropes, and stuff like that, which we'll get into. So grass here, we'll go ahead and throw the thistles in there. We'll keep the mushrooms on us for food. Yeah, we'll go ahead, actually, go ahead and make our another uh, three more crude rope. We got four um, clover leaves. We'll make another one real quick. Perfect. Oh, we just took our clover leaves out, didn't we? There we go. All right, so now this one, we're going to throw all our rocks and stuff in. We'll throw the fuzz in here, too, just uh, might as well. So now we've got stuff kind of put in place. Let's, uh, what do we need for our uh, weevil shield here? Two crude rope. Okay, so we can't do that yet. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, weevil meat in here. You can see the little wheel on there. Like I said, it's starting to spoil. So hopefully we can get over there, get our stuff done that we need, and then uh, get back by the time those spoil. Shouldn't be an issue though, because like I said, we're going to have a lot of weevils coming around. So, all right, it looks like we are just about ready to head out. We still got our arrows. We've got our axe, we've got our hammer, we've got our light, we've got some food, and we've got uh, some bandages, or at least one bandage, rather. So now we are a little thirsty, so uh, we're gonna head northeast. I'll show you. We saw where the uh, oak tree explosion was, so it was over this way, the oak tree. So we're gonna head northeast over to this uh, area and see if we can investigate further. You see the red ants will come over here and kill the weevils. So, you will be dealing with a lot of red ants by having that mushroom piece up there, but it gives you a lot of free weevil meat. So, look at that. We do have a uh, juice drop down here. We'll go ahead and drink that. We got a couple of them. So, juice will refill some of your thirst and your hunger. And one real thing, I don't know if you guys heard that humming noise right there. We heard it over here as well. So, one of the things that the game is kind of built around uh, to unlock recipes and stuff is going to be uh, raw science, it's called. So they're gonna look like little pink orbs. You can see it right there. These are gonna be scattered all over the map. Um, we can make a video about all the locations of it, but just with how much they change, it's really not uh, conducive, it's not effective, especially with all the updates and the new raw science locations they add. So they'll vary in different sizes. You'll get 100 for the little ones. You'll also get uh, 500 ones. So now we have 720 raw science. One free little tip here. All the raw science is not going to show up until you uh, turn on the mysterious machine and uh, get that cinematic. So you don't really need to go looking for it. But we do have this juice box here. And I'm going to show you some of the ways that they uh, like to hide some of this raw science around here. So we're doing a little bit of parkour to get up here. And see if we can't get on top of this, uh, this juice box here. Alright, there we go. Look at this, we found a scab, just like we found one in that little mite cave there. And you can see on the straw right there, there's another piece of raw science. So we're going to go ahead and jump down here and go get ourselves another 100 raw science. We drop down, that's going to hurt a little bit, but we're all right. That ladybug seems so much less graceful up close. So one thing I want to show you guys right here is uh, you can fall a little safer. You see that? We have a dandelion right there. So you cut those down and it provides you a little something like a parachute so you can... Uh, fall safer and slower rather than just jumping down from really tall distances so we're gonna head over here and see if we can't cut this weed down now a little bit of a warning when you get closer to the oak tree you're gonna be finding a lot more uh, tougher insects so just be wary like I said listen if you hear something that sounds a lot different than what you have been hearing then uh, it probably wants to harm you so keep your eyes peeled keep your ears open and make sure you're trying to stay in a uh, safe location. Typically, if you're on top of something, you can stay pretty safe. So we're gonna cut this down. 
We don't need the weed stems right now, but what we're looking for is these wonky dandelion fibers that are flying everywhere. So now we have a dandelion tuft. Now what you can do, you see a glider right here. So this is going to operate as your glider. The uh, They will run out, but it, it's going to depend on how much you, uh, how high you're falling. But they're pretty simple to get, so not too difficult. If you run run out of one, then uh, just go get another one. I just recommend always having one on you, because you never know when you're going to have to jump away from something. So look at this. Looks like we have some acorns right over here. Now the acorns are going to need a uh, smashing tool, like our hammer here. And you can see our scab is telling us that there is a, uh, a field station close to. So we have acorn shells and acorn tops. There's also acorn bits over here, which is another source of food. So if you need a quick snack, grab those. You can see it refills your hunger a little bit, so we can go ahead and break these open with our hammer and try to get some shells and tops. Be very wary because there is a, uh, a big spider over here that is very difficult to kill early on, especially if you don't have the right weapons and armor. So the wolf spiders patrol this area. There's going to be two under the oak tree. We'll see if we can go see them here in a second. And then there's one on the other side of the oak tree, so... They used to only mainly come out at night. Uh, with the recent updates, those have changed. So it's a little difficult to figure out when they actually come out. So, again, listen, look. Just like you're crossing the street, right? Listen and look before you cross. Listen and look before you go around a curve or a turn over here. Again, it is a lot easier on third person because you can kind of see around stuff. But if you recommend uh, first person, then obviously that's going to be up to you. So we got 14 shells. You can see one right there. There's one of the wolf spiders. Now it's a good thing that he's in there because then we know that they're not out running around. But, okay, they're both in there. So see right there, two wolf spiders, pretty dangerous. Especially early on uh, with where we're at. So the reason we're over here is to investigate the explosion at the oak tree, right? That's what our quest says at the top left. So we're going to head around over this way, just up behind this leaf here. And this is going to be your first lab that you experience. This is the oak lab. Need to be a little bit prepared coming in here. So you're going to see some uh, stuff. We got a, uh, like a burgle transmu transmission unit here. Transcription unit. Transcription unit. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. So while they're talking right here, you have this little puzzle right here to access this to hit the switch and open that door over there. So as it stands, if you saw, I just walked up, you hit the top left one and the bottom middle one, and it'll get them all green right there. So now we have access to uh, open this door. And you're going to see our first little uh, non-insect enemy over here. This is called a Tasty. They are weak to uh, smashing. So you kind of want to get in there with your hammer, hit them quite a bit. We can see if the spiky strike will do any better. Obviously, just dodge their attacks. And you should be able to take them out no problem. You're also, every time you kill these guys, they don't respawn. You'll get some raw science for it. So now we can make our way into the lab a little bit deeper. And head down this way. There's nothing really showing you down here. There is some raw science. And there is something else that we can't actually get right now. So we'll go ahead and get that. I'll show you the uh, other thing we're looking at over here. So this is one of the milk molars. This is a mega milk molar, rather. Can't do anything with those right now, but uh, just keep that in the back of your head that there is one down here. The reason we're over here is talk to uh, this individual here. But I want you to head over here, pick up this raw science. A 500 spot right there. And if we go around over here, we have another Burgle trans tr transcription unit. And you can hit this switch right here and it's going to open that door so you don't have to go all the way around. We do have another resource analyzer right here, so while we're here, let's go ahead and analyze these acorn shells. Now we have access to acorn armor, storage chest, and a water container. So your acorn pieces right here are going to be super useful. And we level up to level 2. Now we've unlocked red ant armor as well. 
Let's go ahead and look at the tops. Sap catcher, smoothie station, spinning wheel. So now we're getting into the uh, into the crooks of uh, the stuff that we can build here. So now you're gonna have a lot more things that you can uh, build and make and craft. All of the above. This right here is gonna be your burgle chip. So each lab is gonna have one of these burgle chips. And you turn them into Burgle, you'll get some raw science as a, re as a reward, and then it'll open up some different recipes as you go forward. So we're going to go ahead and help this, this poor little robot up here. Thanks for the helping hand. Now we have our introduction to Burgle. Acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. In case you didn't know, he's I'm a robot. Sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. And then he just kind of stops talking there. So while we're over here, going to head down through this little broken area right here. Grab this raw science. There's a little area down here with some water. You'll find a lot more quartzite in here. This is a really good spot early on to get quartzite, just like with the uh, the Mike Cave. Then he's going to sit here and blame you for blowing up the lab. Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever qu 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 questions you might have. So here we go. Now we can so chat again, with Burgle. I'm going to go through all this. You guys can do this on your own. We'll just get through it. Um, you okay, like got you it. Still have don't have any more questions. So now this is going to open up the basic menu that you're going to have for the rest of the game with Burgle. So anytime you have a chip, like I said, you're going to bring it here and give it to Burgle. So we're just going to talk away from him. So now you can see up in the up here. Well, you can't because my camera's blocking it. But we have unlocked uh, Grasslands Chip. So now we can go in here and, like I said, the raw science. So he has a little uh, swap shop here. We have 1,960 raw science. You can get multi-story bases. And you can see, go through all this stuff. It's going to unlock um, certain things for when you're actually building your base. Like I said, right now in the first couple days, you really only want to have a little uh, outpost. Pebblet foundation, fortified bases. This right here is probably going to be your uh, first purchase, the smithing station. So we need about 540 more raw science for that. We're going to try to get that here on day two. Meat shield is one of the mutations that we're talking about. Um, you can buy some mutations here. You get cookbooks too. It's going to be able to craft some food that gives you um, added benefits. And then you have a scab scanner. That's on your scab. It's going to start uh, going a little crazy when you're near some um, raw science, which is useful. But right now, we've got the basics of it. So we know we need 540 more raw science. So now we actually have some tasks that he's going to give us. So every day, as he just told you, you can come to him each day and get three new quests. And uh, you'll get different amounts of raw science for completing them. So right here, we have to kill six aphids, kill four red worker ants, and then we have this chip sleuth. So this one, he's sending us out to find a burgle chip. So obviously, the raw science reward for that is going to be a lot bigger. So we'll go ahead and take all these quests, and then uh, we're going to get to it. So we have to go back to our uh, little outpost now and craft that weevil shield. And then uh, see if we can't craft a shovel as well, because a shovel we're going to need for... Um, one of the other things going forward to get these grubs so we should be able to craft our acorn shovel and then we'll head back over here always be cognizant when you're coming out here listen and look around make sure these wolf spiders aren't uh, running around so it's already three almost four o'clock in the afternoon now so second day right now is burning burning daylight this might bleed over into day two so if we do then we'll go ahead and uh cover day two and three in one video here wolf spiders both still sleeping so you don't have to be too cautious over here if you know the wolf spiders are sleeping just be careful of uh larva they run around this area and the uh the red ants but the red worker ants aren't going to really do anything to you so there we can head down in that cave right now the little ant hill right here for some raw science but it's a little dangerous with uh, some soldier ants in there so while we're here we've got these we're gonna go ahead and pick these uh, weed sims up and take them back see if we can't do anything with them and if we can't right now then uh, that's fine we'll just keep them over there and you can see our waypoint 
so we know exactly where to go back to our little outpost. So super useful. Little things like that, you can place those waypoints anywhere. So if you're not sure, if you don't want to bring up the map or something like that, go ahead and throw a way or a trail marker there, and you'll have a waypoint to get back and forth to wherever you're going. So let's head back to our outpost here. See if we got any weevils over here. Our weevil meat should still be good. So we can craft our, uh, and you can see in there, looks like we got a bunch of weevils over here. See, there's your easiest weevil farm in the game right there. You'll never run out of food and you'll always be able to repair your weevil shield for as long as you need to. Got our weed stems there, okay. We got enough inventory space. Let's go ahead and take these, take those out. Let's get our weevil meat. It's still good to go. And what else did we need for our shield? Oh, we can't. We still need the grubs. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get our shovel. So we need one crude rope. Let's go ahead and make one of those. All right. So now we've got our shovel. We still can't do a canteen. We need the grub hides. And we need some gnats, actually, so we can get our bow. See if these gnats... Typically, you have one or two gnats over here flying around. You can hear them up here. See if we can't locate them and uh, get their fuzz. We see one right there. Uh, jump across. Got one. So hopefully he doesn't fall through the world. Okay. This one over here might uh, fall through the map. He has recently when I've killed him. So let's hope not fall down in the water. Go get him. Alright, so now we got four nat fuzz. We should be able to make our bow. And we already have the arrows made, so that's going to help out. Especially when you're fighting certain insects, you can kind of get, get on a high point. And um, it's called cheese, so it's kind of like, it's not cheating, but it's taking advantage of a situation. So we need two crew rope. Let's go ahead and get those. Now we should be able to make our sprig bow. Again, no workbench required for this one. Now we've got our bow. It's just useful to have a ranged, uh, a ranged weapon as well. Got those. We also got two, uh, two gnat meats here, so we're going to go ahead and throw those on the roasting spit. We'll go ahead and throw one of the weevil ones on there too, because this weevil meat may spoil if we're going into day three. Uh, just because we have our shovel now and we have to go get, um, we have to go dig up some grubs, which can be tricky. So, we'll do some little organization here. We need some water. So now we've got, we did unlock some other stuff here. We've got some walls that we can build up. And over here, a garden patch. We'll get into that later. Smoothie station, which is useful. We would like to uh, make one of these water containers. And I'm going to show you a little trick with these two. So let's get two crude rope and grab one of our clovers. We also didn't mark this one, so let's go ahead and mark that. We're just going to put rocks. That looks like rocks. There we go. So I mentioned this little juice box right over here, right? So what we can do here, we have our acorn shells. They have not fixed this yet, so I'm still going to put this in as a little tip. Hey, right, now we just discovered it. Careful with some of the, the landmarks here, because it's going to take a little bit for them to actually say that they've been discovered. So you can see the tip of the straw right here. That's where the juice is going to drop out of here. So believe it or not, what we can actually do is build a water container. Is that going to be right under it? Let's see. Kind of looks right under it. We're going to build our water container right here. And you'll see, hopefully, if we get into day three, the juice is going to drop right into this and fill it up. So super useful. So instead of running around and only having one or two drops, this is going to fill up. And I, get, I think it's one, two, three, give you six drops. Of course, it's going to take some time to keep refilling. So... Just let it run, and uh, next time you're over there, you'll be able to get uh, juice basically any time you run by. And there's other juice boxes around the map as well, so if you want, go ahead and place those around every other uh, juice box, and you have free juice. And the insects won't uh, won't do anything with that one either. 
So we do need some water right now. At least Let's get it's that. Clean. What time Fish. is it? It is 18.55. Let's see if we can... Uh, we need to do some moving stuff around over here. It's always easier just to have things organized. I mean, do whatever, uh, do it however you guys want. It's just easier for me like this. So, set those over there. And then we have, uh, need to be number one, need to be number three. All right, we're just gonna put our bandage at number four for now. That's just the way I always have it. So I had my uh, hotkeys set up the same way. So we're looking for grubs. And if you saw some of the stuff moving around underground over here by the oak tree, that is where we're headed. Now it can be a little tricky because uh, when you're digging, sometimes larva will actually be under the ground burrowing around as well. So we need a snack no right here. Eater, but still. Let's go ahead and uh, eat some mushrooms here. Get those going. So now our hunger is good. And see, so you can hear all the weevils over here now, so I'm not going to have any issue getting weevils. So we're going to head over here, and hopefully uh, the wolf spiders aren't running around right now. I'm going to go ahead and get our shovel out. And hopefully you can tell... So this is one of the larvae. They can hit pretty hard. So try to block if you can. And then you guys, uh, there you go. So now we have a larva spike and an acid gland, which is actually pretty useful right now. That looks like a wolf spider out walking around. So that was pretty dang close right there. Because once they pick up your scent, they'll chase you around. But this larva spike right here is going to be super useful for us. So it might not be a good time to uh, be over here looking for grubs at the moment. So we may end up just heading back to our base, calling it a night on day two, and then uh, running into day three on this one. But let's see if we can't... Uh... Oh, there's the other one right there. So they're both out walking around right now. So that's unfortunate. So it's a little too risky, in my opinion, right now to be looking for uh, grub hides because the wolf spiders are out. If they hit you once, they'll poison you, and that poison will more than likely kill you. So we've got our waypoint marked right here. We're going to go head back and then uh, call it a wrap on day two. So we'll go ahead and bleed into day three on this video and get you guys squared away. Yeah, and while you're running back and forth, you might as well just grab some resources. You got storage now to put them in there. Grab some water on the way or completely miss it too. Either one works. And usually not at first, but uh, probably in the first week you may see a wolf spider venturing near the mysterious machine over here. So just, again, keep your eyes and ears open. And uh, be aware of your surroundings, I mean, especially at night time. probably what bottled water is. All right, so let's get back up here, hit up our lean-to, and go to sleep. So we're going to wake up pretty hey, early in the morning again. Up if we go Not a big longer. deal. We've got our roasts here, so let's go ahead and eat those. And since we're here, we're going to go ahead and analyze uh, this larva spike and acid gland. One way you can tell if something's coming far off, you'll see the grass moving. So use that as kind of a, uh, a gauge as to what is coming. You see the grass moving a lot, it's either going to be an orb weaver, a wolf spider, or a ladybug. Some of the smaller insects don't make it move around as much. So this is going to give us access to the larva blade, which is a really good early on weapon. Acid gland is going to give us bug rubber, which doesn't serve too much of a purpose right now. But, alright. Now it's going to be morning time. Hopefully we head back over to the oak tree and the... Uh, the wolf spiders have gone back to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump these resources real quick. We'll throw these in here as well. Actually, let's go ahead and see what it takes for the larva blade. 
So again, we need grub hides, and we still need one more larva spike. So we'll go ahead and dump this stuff in here as well. Our weevil meat might survive. So go ahead and uh, get all this stuff situated. I have limits. Top these Boy. off. I guess I thought I did. One thing I wanted to do real quick. I think we have some mite fuzz. We do have to kill aphids anyways. So if we run into some aphids on the way, then we're going to uh, go ahead and try to kill them. Not only for our quest, but also for the aphid slippers, which are going to increase your running speed. So we're going to buy the juice box over here. Let's see if we have any ju uh, drops in here. Not yet. There is an aphid, though. Looks like he's running away. There's one. Heard another one. All right, well, he went up on here. Let's see if we can't knock him down. All right, two. Well, what do we need for those aphid slippers? Ten mite fuzz. I'm not sure if we have ten mite fuzz. Let's go check it out and see. Aphid slippers are really good early on. Not to provide you defense. Oh, we need some water, too. But uh, just to increase your movement speed while you're running around. Don't want this one to... Uh, Okay. Got two here. No, maybe not. But it's definitely going to help you get around quicker, which is uh, pretty important early on. I don't think we have ten mite fuzz. We have nine. Alright, so we're going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. We're going to go kill these mites over here and get our aphid slippers. Then head back over and try to dig up some grubs. So we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back over here. Got our mite fuzz. Uh, make our slippers. I'll we'll show you guys what those are uh, what those are like. Let me go ahead and uh, actually we'll put you in there. Put those in there. I'll sew these slippers on and you'll see right here. So it provides you the quickness. No defense, but if you look at the defense from here. So we're only losing a half a bar. Um, we are losing fuller, but that's alright. These are going to outweigh the, uh, the risks. So you can kind of see now. We're running a lot quicker so these are useful not only just for traversing the map oh it looks like we got one juice drop in here now too see super useful right there especially early on when the food and hunger is uh, something you really have to worry about putting those um, little water collectors right under the juice boxes super helpful super convenient all right so now let's see if our uh, wolf spider friends have gone to bed we still need 480 raw science So we're going to head up to this area. So one of the things you can do is kind of listen. Um, when these things are going under here. And one way to tell if they're a grub or a larva, they'll make different sounds. So you, I don't know if you heard, if you want to go back and listen to how it sounded when the, uh, the larva came out. So they both kind of sound like rock tumblers, but the grub ones sound a little lighter. Which makes sense, they're a little bit smaller. So we've got a couple grub hides here now. Let's see how much we're going to need for the canteen. I know we're going to need a lot, so... This is going to take a little bit of time, so I don't want to sit here and watch you guys, have you guys watch me uh, dig up every single grub. So I'm going to get some grub hides, and then uh, we'll be right back at our base. Alright, so we're back over here at our base. We've got some stuff to analyze. We did uh, we get some grub hides. we got some grub goop, so we're going to go ahead and analyze that. And we're probably going to go ahead and make another roasting spit. Because one of the things when you're digging up grubs, you'll basically get a grub meat every single time. So it's going to give you a lot of food. Let's go ahead and analyze these. Now this is also going to give us grub armor. Now this is where you can get divisive right here. Um, you have the option for acorn armor, which is going to be heavy armor. Or you have the option for uh, grub armor, which is light armor. Both have their different perks. Um, so you can kind of decide which one you want to make and then go from there. We also did finish our aphid quest, so we got the raw science for that. I'm going to get back up here real quick and we'll touch on something that you guys saw that we unlocked Natural Explorer as a mutation. So this is also going to provide you the quickness, so phase one of three. So the way you get this is uh, each time you discover a new landmark, so we can go to data here in places, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think once you get five landmarks, you'll unlock phase one of uh, um, 
Natural Explorer, which is going to provide you that quickness as well. So we're going to see what we got. Go ahead and throw some of this stuff in here. <clears throat> but we need to make our Weevil Shield. Let's see if we can go, ahead, go ahead and analyze those. So we've got four Weevil Meats. We need our two crude rope. Now we get ourselves a little shield. Added protection. So this right here, we're going to go there. Then Spears 4. So it definitely just provides a lot more protection when you're blocking. So a lot of times if you're regular blocking instead of perfect blocking, uh, the enemy is going to fill up your stun gauge. Once you get stunned, you can't do anything for a few seconds. And uh, it leaves you open and vulnerable to big attacks from enemies. So let's get into the armor. Let's take a look at which one we want. So Acorn is going to have uh, give you increase of max health. It's heavy armor, so it's going to take longer for your stamina to regen when you stop. But we're at one and a half bars of defense on that. You can look at the Grub Goggles. It's going to give you max stamina. So it's going to decide which one do you want more health or do you want more stamina. If you're running around, I'd say go with the Grub Armor. Um, but if you're going to be fighting and stuff like that, I would go with the Acorn Armor. So same defense on both of them. The grub armor is actually medium armor. Well, you can see here four grub hides just for the leggings, five for the vest, so that's nine already, and then uh, 12 total grub hides. So compared to the acorn armor, we're going to need more mite fuzz. Um, we've got the shells, we've got clover leaves, we've got crude ropes. So we just need some mite fuzz, and we can go ahead and get ourselves some acorn armor. So I think we're still missing. Let me go see if we can. Uh, knock out some red worker ants for this little quest and then i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video for day two and three we can't do a lot really uh much so we've got half the day i'm gonna go probably harvest some acorns maybe some more grub hides and then that way we'll be prepared for day four go in and just show you guys the different armor and how they can work and then we're going to start getting into um doing some insects fighting some insects and uh going through that uh touch on the combat aspect of the game a little bit more so that's all we got for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, any questions, feel free to ask me or anybody else in the comment section below. Really great community here and uh, very helpful. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, stay original, my friends. Later.